Hello again, my YouTube friends, Chrissy here at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Today's video is a good old fashioned homeschool haul. So all of the items in this haul are educational themed or educational geared type of gifts that we either gifted our children for Christmas time or they have received from family members for Christmas. Okay, let's start with the books, Disney Encanto. And this was actually a gift that Luna gifted to Bella for our secret sibling exchange. If you don't know what Encanto is, it's the tale of an extraordinary family that lives hidden in the mountains of Colombia in a wondrous charmed place called Encanto. Everyone in the Madrigal family has a unique gift ranging from super strength to the power to heal everyone except Mirabel. But when the magic surrounding the Encanto is in danger, Mirabel decides that she might just be her exceptional family's last hope. So first is that I sincerely appreciate the descriptive text uh, in the book. For example, uh, the golden glow of the candle or the flame danced. There's also rich vocabulary words like harsh and suddenly. And I do also like the bits of Spanish sprinkled in. My kids always enjoy when there are illustrations, more colorful illustrations in these chapter books. Uh, there's also a like little pullout poster at the end that Bella loves. Uh, so she's obsessed, we're all obsessed with the story. Uh, so she's enjoying this book so far. The next book is A Grain of Rice by Helena Claire Pittman. We'll be reading this next week leading up to the Lunar New Year. So this is a mathematical folk tale of a clever farmer named Pong Lo who outwits the emperor of China and becomes the wealthiest man in the world, all starting with one grain of rice. We had a huge geography and cultural unit study on China last year and since then the kids are, and myself, we are completely in love with uh, Chinese folk tales. Sprinkle in a little bit of living math because I'm a homeschool mom of course and so I'm sure that this won't disappoint and we're looking forward to it. Another new to us book that was actually sent to us by the authors Holly and Ryan Connor Ives, The Woodshed Theater with the Sunnyville Buddies. And it reads, when the Sunnyville Buddies come across an old woodshed in the forest, it's just the beginning of, wait, no, that's halfway into the book. Okay, forget everything we just said. Come on, you know you're curious about how a woodshed got turned into a theater and what the play is about. So let me start by telling you that this book was written by a homeschool mother and son. The process is documented in the book and it's just so endearing. And I love the connection that builds between the reader and the book by knowing the author's story. The story combines playing in nature, imaginative pretend play, animal characters, a healthy family dynamic, good moral values, everything that I look for in a book for children. It's also interactive in that you're looking for an illustration of two worms in all the illustrated pages in the book. That's always super fun. I appreciate the vocabulary building for young children found in here. If you know me, like I mentioned earlier, I'm really particular with books that dumb down text for children. The illustrations are fun for the kids and super cheerful. Also, there are free printable activities that you can download to go along with the book, uh, which is meant to use as a read aloud. I'm going to leave all the details down below in the description box for you. Please go check out this book. Thank you again, Holly, for sharing your work and heart with us. A pop it fidget toy, but with an educational twist as it's a 100s chart. Uh, so another secret sibling toy, this one is for Noah. He's working his way towards counting up to 100. We also use this for addition, subtraction, and eventually towards the end of the year, skip counting. 
Colors of the World Markers and Crayons by Crayola. So we were missing all of these uh, beautiful skin tone color palettes uh, for the kids everyday art. Uh, look at how diverse all these beautiful colors are. And I actually paired uh, all of these with this blank comic book for Noah as a Christmas gift. Picasso Tiles 3D Magnetic Building Tiles. This is a 60 piece set uh, that was given to the kids by an aunt. And we already own several of these sets, but every Christmas, every birthday, I do add them to our wish list just because we can always use more to build our collection. Light Bright, a classic Bella received as a gift from her aunt as well. Not necessarily academic, but nonetheless for creativity, fine motor, logic, and critical thinking as she follows or develops new images and patterns. She enjoys resources like this as opening activities or during short breaks between main lesson blocks. I will say that this has a lot of small pieces, so if you have younger children, you might want to reconsider this resource. Um, I do store it all together in this plastic, uh, what's supposed to be like a sticker type of container. Uh, and so it just keeps the mess contained for her. Again, there are several templates for her to follow, which are included, or of course you can just create your own. Ocean Bingo by Lawrence King Publishing. And we love all of the Lawrence King Publishing games and resources that we own already. And I know that this is not going to be an exception. It features 64 species and some well-known like the emperor penguin or killer whale, sea otter, and then less known species like a bioluminescent octopus. A beautiful watercolor illustration. What draws me the most to these Lawrence King publishing resources besides the illustrations of course are that they all include a booklet or pamphlet like this with snippets of information for each of the topic featured. So even if they're short snippets of information it's always something that if it catches interest we can build upon. We already love Bingo and we incorporate it into many of our unit studies and topics. Uh, so this is going to be a great addition to a naturalist family like ours. Crayola light up tracing pad. Now this includes a pencil, 12 short colored pencils, uh, 10 tracing sheets and 10 blank sheets. Bella has been creating nonstop with this. Uh, you can place any image on top of the light box and then you add a plain sheet of paper on top of that and you trace it. This will also really come in handy for our map work for geography that uh, we do a lot of tracing for. Uh, it's thin, it's lightweight, perfect for on the go to take to a park or bring in the car. The Nikon Trailblazer 8x25 binoculars. Now this was a gift for my teen daughter, but she's kind enough to share her gift with us all. Uh, so this is ideal for hiking, birding, traveling, nature viewing, sporting events, concerts, and theater, uh, minus the last few. That is exactly what Ilani is using them for. So this includes the travel pouch, a strap cover, and binocular lens covers. There is multi-layer coating to the lens, a wide field of view. It's nitrogen purged, which offers reliability against uh, thermal shock and internal fogging. And that can be super frustrating. So that was a wonderful feature to this and it's waterproof. There are two ways to adjust the lens, the middle knob and on the lens itself. It's pretty straightforward to adjust. The clarity and brightness is super impressive. I like the sleek look and that it has a nice weight to it. Overall, super impressed with this purchase and a must have for any naturalist in my opinion. Another gift for my teen during Christmas was this extra large 19 by 24 portable drawing board. It's adjustable to five positions made of this beautiful beech wood finish. So for a piece that is so sturdy, it is surprisingly lightweight and she can move it around the house with no problem. The surface is smooth, but because it is a wood grain, 
I would assume that using this for wet on wet painting could seep in and distort and stain the wood. She says that the angle stays in place even when leaning into it a bit and it's really an affordable price for such a large sturdy piece given the price of furniture and wood these days. And I saved my personal favorite item for last, the home calendar by From Jennifer. This is the beach wood home calendar in natural, which means that the weekdays have no color. The base measures 12 by 13 inches, and it includes six reversible month cards with some of Jennifer's beautiful art to represent each month. Included with the calendar are also these one and a half inch wood coins. There are eight weather coins, four seasons, and 31 number coins. Also made in the same wood. You can always purchase more of her customized coins or she also offers blank coins on the website for you to paint and customize yourself. We were in need of a home calendar for circle time and opening activities, but it also doubles up for math. All right, guys, that's it for today's haul video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that maybe you got some uh, ideas uh, for some new resources or books that you may want to add to your wish list. As usual, I have linked everything that I possibly can down in the description box below. So make sure that you're checking that description box with every video. I'd love to hear of any awesome educational resources that maybe you picked up for Christmas gifting or within the last few months. Before you go, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't subscribed, do so. And as always, thanks so much for your love.